I'm going to do a video that elaborates a little bit more on how to both split things into even um, sections, things, and by things I mean um, shapes that are in perspective, as well as um, splitting things that are in perspective into thirds. It's really sort of a handy and dandy technique trick concept idea so I'm gonna talk about that first I'm gonna make sure that uh, I've gone over the idea of when I am splitting something into even spaces even shapes even quadrants that when I'm trying to find the, the midpoints there's a, a additional way of thinking about things so if this represents a wall that is in um, that's receding away from me I I'm going to call this probably more like two-point perspective. One point might be kind of similar. But because it's uh, either one point or two point, I know that the verticals are going to, um, at least they're supposed to be, <laughs> actually vertical. That one needed a little bit of adjusting there. Um, so, and then I know my, um, the midpoint line is also going to be vertical. And if I don't know the, um, the vanishing point, it's tough to make, to sketch in this line. I can measure it so that I'm picking exactly the midpoint of that vertical and the midpoint of this vertical. That's one way to do it. But sometimes, if you don't even um, really know that, you can just start splitting things up again into half. And so now I know that this point is gonna have to go through that point And now I'm splitting this right half into two. Because I'm doing like the whole shape, then I'm finding the midpoint for the whole shape, as opposed to just my my diamond. So this is this is definitely a uh, a handy thing that in hindsight I probably would have discussed earlier. So that can help me sort of much quicker find my horizontal midline. It's still not my horizon line because it's not exactly horizontal. At least I don't think it is. But that's an additional discussion. So now I can, um, I have everything into, uh, into fours. I have this this, this, this. And I can knock back some of these lines if they're getting a little bit too confusing. Need an eraser. Uh, don't want to knock it back too far because I'm actually going to use a couple of these for um, my thirds. And the one that I'm going to use for my thirds are this line that goes from a corner point to a midpoint. And this midpoint to a corner point. That one there I'm going to think of as well. 
and that one as well. If you really want to try to find a shortcut, there is there is kind of a way to do it, but if you have all of these lines, it's going to really help you figure out how to split this up into thirds in both directions. Where these uh, lines intersect, the diagonal and this diagonal of the half, there's going to be two intersection points that is going to line up with the farthest right third would be, as well as that one. I didn't make that so precise. Maybe I'll... Not, not that either. Either way, um, do that more precise than me. But those points will... Where those cross over will give you the the vertical thirds and where they cross in this direction will give you the horizontal thirds. I try to be a little bit more accurate on that one. Yeah. So now I have split this up into uh, into perspective thirds, equal equal thirds in perspective, which is something that you'll want to do fairly often, are likely to want to do fairly often, and that gets a bit confusing. I understand all those lines, but um, sometimes if I'm feeling just kind of in a uh, in a, a try to crank something out kind of quick. There's my midpoint. I'll just I'll do all of them kind of sketchy and try to do them relatively quickly just to get a, an idea of what those thirds are. Or if you're you, sometimes you can even get away with um, depending on how good your guesstimating is. And if I just have, if I don't do all of my uh, crisscrosses, and I get this point that intersects with the uh, diagonal, and this point up here that intersects with the diagonal, even these two points are going to, uh, these two points by themselves are going to help me imagine how to break that up into thirds. Vertically, a little bit easier than horizontally. But horizontally here, I'm just trying to make sure I'm kind of averaging out things because I know at the top, this is my angle, at the bottom, this is my angle, so things are gonna have to sort of average out in as much, as far as how much the angle. That one could use a little love, but um, check that out. It's a lot of um, lines crisscrossing, and you need to do it a few times before it'll sort of make sense. Maybe several times, but um, very helpful. So, check that out.